Welcome back to Google Foods, everybody. This is the burger that changed my life. If you are new to my channel, you might not know this, but I love steaks. And I can honestly say I've tried them all. Burgers, on the other hand, I have made quite a few as well. Monster burgers, fancy burgers, premium burgers, and to be honest, burgers are just awesome. But today I'm gonna share the burger that changed my life forever. And it's easy. So let's do it. This burger has very few elements, so you gotta get them right. This is ground beef from the USA. It is important to use 80% lean and 20% fat. You need the fat content in order to make this burger right. It won't be cooked medium rare. So you can just buy on your regular grocery store, you'll do just fine. This is the easiest burger you ever made in your life. One of the things that made this burger awesome is getting the ratios correctly. And for me, for my size bun, I like to use two and a half ounces per patty. You might be thinking that I'm a little bit crazy by measuring it, but trust me you will get the best results so two and a half ounces balls were made for each individual patty it is the perfect ratio as you might have noticed i did not season the meat you're only going to season it once it's on the grill when making your balls i'm just going to recommend you not to compress them too much leave some air gaps because what you want is maximum browning the browning is where it's at on this burger by leaving the air gaps when you're smashing it it will render the fat and basically fry the patty on its own juices and it's awesome i also made a super simple an easy sauce. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started up with ketchup followed by mayo, a little bit of yellow mustard. For a nice kick I'm using this Brazilian hot sauce. And if you never tried it, oh man it's good. Then I finish it up with Worcestershire sauce, mix it well and my sauce was done. Alright, the next item is going to be quite controversial, and I know this. Some of you are going to tell me, Guga, that's not cheese, that's plastic. How can you eat that processed thing? That's terrible. Yes, I understand all of you, but trust me, you cannot replace that with this burger. If you want to have the experience, you have to use the American processed cheese. The cheap stuff. I have other cheeses, but for this burger, I am not using it. Hashtag go easy on Guga in the comment section. You know what I'm talking about, all the cheese police. For the buns, I am using brioche buns. If you don't have brioche buns available in your area, you can also make Guga's buns. It's quite similar, but not the same. And if you haven't seen Guga's buns video yet, make sure you check it out later on. It's an awesome video. But now that we have everything ready, it is time to get cooking. But first, I want to explain the technique because it's 100% about the technique. If not, you won't get it right. The number one thing to remember is heat. If you can't get it hot, this will never work. Instead of cooking your burger, you will steam it and you will never get the same effect. I recommend it cooking over charcoal because that will get as hot as possible. If you don't have charcoal available, at least get a powerful gas stove and let it preheat for quite a bit. These burgers will cook in seconds. And if you don't have a strong stove like this one, just make sure you let it preheat for quite some time and do it in batches. And you gotta use cast iron. The number one thing you're looking for is browning. You want that my effect hard and well pronounced. If you put it on the heat and it's not hot enough, instead of browning, you'll get steam. And as it's steam, you will never get that deliciousness that comes from the Mariah reaction. The second thing to remember are tools. Make sure you use the right one. If not, you would just make a mess and you would just be terrible. You will never experience it the right way. The burger would just be nasty. I'm telling you, I've done it. I recommend these two items. One is like a burger flipper and the other one is a spatula. When you're putting your meat on the grill, you will get stuck like there's no tomorrow. And the spatula is amazing to rip up all that goodness from the cast iron. You need the right tools. Again, don't use this or this. But now that we have everything ready, it is time for me to introduce you to the burger that changed my life. And I say it is enough talking and it's time to smash them. So let's do it.
right, everybody. This is the burger that changed my life for so many reasons. It is easy to make. Well, you guys saw it. Are you guys ready? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, enough talking. Let's give it a try. Go for it, guys. Dig in. All right, big bite. Smash burger, Cheers. baby. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best burger in the world. Period. Period, period, period. That is incredible, everybody. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's juicy. I, I can't even believe how, how good it is. It's incredible. There's so much browning yeah. when you occur, when you make it that way, everybody. It's mm. so flavorful, so juicy, my goodness. I can actually just give it like a soft press like this, and I can see the juices start moving. Yeah. The <laughs> cheese melted, amazing. You know, a lot of people are gonna hate on me because I use American cheese, but with this nah, burger, no, you, you have, have to, to use American. with the American yeah. cheese. I have a question. Tell me, Andrew. What kind of uh, ground beef did you use? 2080. A lot of fat. So I have a question. Tell me. An oh, I see where you're going with this. I have an important Let's keep eating, important Let's keep eating Chris, because I know where he's going with this. Tell me. What if? Mm. <laughs> are you, yeah, you're not ready. You're I not know ready. where you're going. Oh, I know. Wagyu, oh. smash burger. You I got, know he was going to go. This is already amazing. <laughs> but if we take it to the next level. Chris want to be on that video. No, I have to be for that one. <laughs> you have to be invited. If you guys want to see Wagyu smash burger, let me know in the comments down below. Give I a thumbs up if you want to see it. I yeah. will make it happen. Only if you guys want to see it. Like the video and put a thumbs up in the comments if you want to <laughs> see it. You really want that Wagyu burger, huh? And comment, Angel's a genius. <laughs> do a, do a comment, wagyu and comment, bring smash Chris. burger. Bring Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Chris, what do you want, Chris? He's like, give me the triple decker. I said, okay, and I, I said, got you. <laughs> I said, he's the guest. Like my he's boy, the guest. have to give him the <laughs> Like my boy Future said, sensational. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you want to see the wagyu burger, comment down below, and we're going to make a wagyu smash burger. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Make sure to comment if you want to see that Wagyu Smash Burger, and we're going to make it happen. Make this burger. It's easy. You can do it. See you on the next one, everybody. Easy. Take care. It's fast. And, <laughs> and it's good. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. See you on the next one, everybody. Chris is out. I got to go make you another one. <laughs> got to go make some more. What is this? All right. What is this? What is that? You remember I got you a Father's Day present? Oh, that's the Father's Day present. Oh my goodness. I don't know when this video comes out, everybody, but this Andrew gave me a Father's Day present. Check that's, this out. That's the second <laughs> one. The first one was, was the cup that stays yeah, cold for you. This is the second one. But uh, he wanted me to give me something. It is a milk chocolate porter. Porter. It's milk chocolate beer. Milk chocolate beer. Bro, they make that? <laughs> yeah. Let's give it a try. Oh. All right. Well, we're going to try this right now. We're going to give you guys a fair review. You ready? I wonder if it's going to be ch chocolate color. Or it's like a it's like a brown beer. It's like, cold. It's right? like dark beer. It's yeah. like a dark beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is gonna taste like chocolate. <laughs> all right, well, Cheers, Adam, it's already a little bit too late, but happy Father's Day to all the fathers out yes. there. Cheers, everybody. And yes, everyone on this table is it above is 21. 21. Even, yes. Even Google. <laughs> Are you sure? Sometimes. <laughs> anyway, cheers, everybody. Let's give it a try. We'll let you know. Oh my God, it tastes like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like chocolate and beer together. Yo, 22nd birthday next week. Where we get it, bro? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. I'm not a fan. It's good. It's it Thank you for the present, though. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate my present, my nephew. <laughs> it is weird beer, everybody. It is different. It is different. It's like a chocolate milk mixed together with a beer and it has, smashed it together. It tastes like and, Hershey's to bro, it can't get What? It, it has like a Hershey's taste. No, it doesn't. Is a chocolate one. Oh, <laughs> and I even left and went and got some milk. My burger makes it taste a lot better. That's a fact. Both statement. <laughs> I don't know about the beer, but the burger is amazing. Nah, See you guys on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.